all right guys look we got some big news here got some massive massive news we're going to talk about so we all heard what happened with john watts over at marvel some words were said him and kevin feige mutually decided to part ways on the fantastic four project after john watts directed three spider-man films for marvel and sony kevin feige said that he'd really like to work with john watts again john watts said he'd really like to work with kevin feige again so everything was good everything was kosher and john watts said he needed a break now what do you do when you need a break I'll tell you what you don't do. You don't sign on to a Star Wars project, which is exactly what John Watts did. Ooh, I called the BS from the very beginning. Ask anybody. I told everybody it was BS. A lot of people had theories. They thought maybe it was because Krasinski wanted to direct Fantastic Four since he's going to be Reed Richards in the movie, allegedly. So people had their conspiracy theories that Krasinski wanted to direct it and Feige asked John Watts to step away for that reason. But no, John Watts had a bigger deal going on at Lucasfilm and Feige understood is my assumption at the moment. Let's take a look at the story. So this is coming to us from The Hollywood Reporter. It says Spider-Man director John Watts to help coming of age Star Wars Disney Plus series. The Spider-Man trilogy director has created and will helm a new Star Wars series for Disney Plus. Vanity Fair reported in a Tuesday cover story about the sci-fi franchise's upcoming offerings on the small screen. And by the way, if you guys have not seen that Vanity Fair cover, it is sick. I highly recommend checking it out. Still mostly under wraps, Watts' series, codenamed Grammar Rodeo, a reference to an episode of The Simpsons in which Bart and his schoolmates steal a car and run away for a week, was described to Vanity Fair as in the tone of a classic Amblin coming of age adventure film of the 80s. Watts' show will take place closely after the events of Return of the Jedi, much the same way as The Mandalorian as far as time period. Watts will executive produce the series along with Chris Ford, who penned Spider-Man Homecoming. The Star Wars news comes almost a month after it was announced Watts was exiting Marvel's Fantastic Four. So here's the actual statement John Watts made when he exited. Making three Spider-Man films was incredible and life-changing experience for me. I'm eternally grateful to have been part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for seven years. I'm hopeful we'll work together again, and I can't wait to see the amazing vision for Fantastic Four brought to life. Watts said at the time in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, said Marvel Studios President Kevin Feige and co-president Louis D. Esposito in a statement. Here was their official statement. Collaborating with John on the Spider-Man films has been a true pleasure. We were looking forward to continuing our work with him to bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU, but understand and are supportive of his reasons for stepping away. We are optimistic that we will have the opportunity to work together again at some point down the road. So Lucasfilm snatched him up and that's cool because they're keeping it in the family. It's all under the Disney roof. It's all in the mouse house. It's all good. Obviously, John Watts just couldn't mention it at the time, so he had to come up with some BSPR reason. I need a break. No, but honestly, I'm super excited. I like that they're describing this as a coming of age story. I think that's perfect for John Watts to take on like a young Jedi gal or something like that. It's going to take place uh, immediately or shortly after Return of the Jedi. I'm sure this will be a brand new character we've never met before. I was kind of hoping to be a Jedi, but it probably won't be considering the fact that it's right after Return of the Jedi, which there weren't really a lot of Jedi around after Return of the Jedi. So we'll see what it actually is, but it could be somebody that like Luke is looking after that we don't know about maybe luke's gonna bring this person to their academy so it could still be a force user we just hadn't heard about i think that this sounds very very cool i'm excited either way i just think that this is perfect for john watts a coming of age story in the star wars universe as a massive star wars fan myself and you all know i am it's just super exciting stuff guys so very stoked can't wait to hear more about this i'm sure we'll get more information a star wars celebration now that the story's out john watts will be brought out on the stage at that first panel i'm sure so it's gonna be a lot of fun and exciting stuff and it sounds like a lot of exciting stuff is coming along the way so what did you guys think of this story are you mad that he's kind of full of shit do you just not care because this sounds amazing whatever you guys are thinking let me know in the comments below i've been don martino i want to thank you guys for joining me so much if you guys haven't done so already please like the video subscribe Subscribe to the channel, leave some feedback in the comment section, share this with your friends, and hit the bell for notifications. That'll be it for now, guys. All right, I will catch you guys later.